Hey friends, hello creators! I'm very excited because this is my very first video tutorial for you and um, what I would like to do with it is I want to talk a little bit about my work on Instagram and my illustration art, what I create, how I create it and yeah, so you can get a little bit of insight on how I draw but also to tell you a little bit more about me and maybe there are here in them some tips um, for you and it might help you to improve your skills or just get another a different insight on a different look on a work process maybe your work process is completely different to mine um, and yeah so I'm very excited and here is to start with it I think about what could look funny in a picture or um, yeah, what, what I would like to have in it and then I just do some quick sketches. I always work from my kitchen as you can see because here's a big window and I like to have light and to look um, to the skyline of Frankfurt and um, that inspires me a lot and um, gives me enough, um, enough space uh, to free my mind to get uh, some creative energy. I always start with black outlines um, on top of my sketch. Of course um, on a separate layer because we want to delete the sketch in the end and then we have just the final layer so it looks cleaner. If you touch the tablet lighter then you have a lighter line so it looks quite natural that's what I like um, on drawing with the Cintiq. I like it a lot to be a freelancer because um, you have you can pick your projects on your own so there's no one who who tells you um, to which job you should do so you can pick your clients um, which is a quite quite cool thing I'm a lot of active here in Frankfurt I um, also did some graffiti art for example um, so the more I um, created here in Frankfurt the better my network became so it it's it would be a lie to say it's been not a lot of work because it was a lot of work um, and still is every day um, you have to work on your on your network that it stays that good that um, clients stay with you and I just draw um, for example for social media campaigns this has nothing to do with my photos or my Instagram drawings um, I also like that it's something different because on Instagram I it's like my fun channel I draw into my photos but this is not <laughs> how I earn my um, my daily money. Um, sometimes people ask me how I can live from illustrations and whether it's my um, job to draw into photos. Um, of course it's not. My daily work is more or less simply drawing and also animating. I also do murals for example, wall designs, bigger pictures, graffiti, live drawings on workshops, um, but also animation like logo animation, um, Frame-by-frame frame animation, there are many, many um, possibilities and I like that it's always something different, so it, it never, never gets boring and um, yeah, and the good thing as I already mentioned is um, as long as you're a freelance, you can choose your clients or work with those um, you like to work with the brands you like and um, you can identify with. And this makes me quite happy and also makes me enjoy my job a lot um, because it doesn't feel like work. They don't have names yet. This this one is a, should be a female funny monster who's maybe a bit jealous <laughs> and wants to make fire on my on my skirt. Um, she also her hair is it looks like a flame, so she she's on fire herself. But she's a bit funny too, so. Um, I think she's very humorous and um, the character on the right, he's the, the very gentle, um, charming, uh, I wouldn't call it a date because it's a monster, but it's, it's a cute character who's giving me a rose and uh, smiling at me with big eyes, so yeah. I like to create characters. Um, I don't know how I started creating monsters, especially um, 
it's quite funny. A lot of people keep on asking me, uh, why, why do you always draw monsters? And I feel a bit like awkward. Okay, am I a strange person because I always draw monsters? No. Um, I think the reason is quite easy because um, I can draw monsters quite quickly. Uh, maybe everyone can draw monsters quite quickly. Um, and yeah, I come very quick to a kind of a result that I like. And um, I think... If you draw a monster, it doesn't matter whether it has one eye or three mouths or one leg or five legs, um, and you can't draw anything wrong. Um, yeah, there was one time I, I drew something and um, someone commented, hey, but um, it looks like the perspective is wrong or this character uh, has a third leg or something, but it was the tail of the character, but someone said like it looks like a third leg. And I felt a bit like, who, <laughs> who says that it's... That it's uh, supposed to be a, a leg, maybe it's a tail. But if you draw monsters, um, you don't have that problem. So um, no one will say, hey, uh, it doesn't look correct because it just has one eye. And then I can say, yeah, it's a monster. It just has one eye. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether this is the reason. I just like drawing monsters and uh, creatures that look uh, cute and fun. And um, yeah, on Instagram, they, they are part of my, of my story and my posts. And in the stories, I try to show a little bit of the making of, but also I think tutorials like this today, it's it's quite important for you to see um, how much, also how much work it is to create one of these um, creatures because um, everyone knows GIFs and emojis on Instagram and you just pick one and then there's something moving and I, I get sometimes asked, oh, which app do you use so you can just pick pick a monster and put it over your photo. No, it's not just uh, an emoji I pick. It's, it's all drawn by hand. And of course, I also need to think of what do I draw in this, in this space. For example, um, also sometimes other people ask uh, whether I um, can give them one of my monsters and put it into their photo or create a photo with my existing monsters. But um, of course it's not that easy because um, they have a certain angle and this one has a hand here so you can't just cut this one out here and put it into another picture. It uh, would look a bit wrong because um, perspective and everything is not right anymore. So this is what um, yeah gives it more um, of a handcrafted touch so um, yeah. Of course, uh, a lot of people also see that it's, that it's handmade but not everyone knows so I just was yeah, I thought it's it's good to mention it, and um, yeah. So to my to follow up my drawing process, um, I just set up the outlines. And what I will do now is to fill it with some color, and afterwards I will put the shading. I select everything that is outside of the outlines because I want to fill it with white color first. And then I it can extend what I just selected and this part should be, for example, white. So we have just a little bit of a background first. Then I will create a group and I say this is the color group. And I also do a mask in the group. So the mask um, of the group helps that when I draw now on the white part or come out of the white part, um, I can tell the mask to not draw outside of the white part. I can draw here, clearly over the line. And you can always go um, from the selections and select this part and color it in. So you can color bigger parts, but you can also draw it by hand. For me, it depends on how big the part is, how much work it is. If it's a big part, I might just select it by, by mouse click and small parts I just draw by hand. So, I will keep on going with this one. monsters look after the outlines and after the outlines are filled with some color without shading and without light. So yeah, 
it's colorful and cute but for my taste um, I prefer to add some shading so it gets a little bit um, a little bit um, more detailed and I will show you how I, how I do this I I put another layer up um, a new layer with 20% um, and I will draw some black parts where I would like to have black parts so for example here I would like to see some shadow um, and then I draw with white where I would like to have some some light part and this is what I will do now for the whole picture and in the end I think it looks a bit more realistic I mean it's still a cartoon but it doesn't look that flat maybe that's the right word to describe it and that's why I do it for the eyes for example we can also make them look a bit more like eyes and not just like white balls <laughs> same for this eye a little bit of rose and the rest is just about black and white on a transparent layer I hope you enjoy my tutorial here um, I never did it in uh, that extended version before um, if you follow me on Instagram my account is Laura Diana, as previously said, um, I very often show parts of my working process in stories and sometimes I do a Q&A so you can ask me questions, what I draw with, um, whether I tried out some new software or new tablets. Of course I tried out many tablets and um, softwares, I'm nearly done with this. And I hope that you like it. You can always leave me some feedback. I like the monster with the fire head. She's... Yeah. <laughs> She's out for some trouble tonight. <laughs> Looks a bit like, right? So... Let me add some more details on her body. Yeah, next to just very flat colors, I like to give it some texture or some, yeah, with these little dots, a little bit more characteristics. So it might look a bit cuter than without. That's what I think. Maybe you don't think so, I don't know. <laughs> but as I said, it's monsters and no one will ever be able to say it's, I drew it wrong because there is no right way to draw a monster and no wrong way I will post this illustration once it's done after this video on my Instagram site so please feel free to check it out this is it the final result and I think they're cute how do you like them? Let me know and um, if you would like to see more tutorials or more of my work feel free to follow me on Instagram. I would love to see you there and leave me some feedback, comments, um, new ideas on what to draw next. If you have any questions let me know and I'm very happy if I can help you. See you soon! <laughs>